Hi, welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to do a classy makeup look very inexpensively. Let's put it that way. All right, so stick around. Let's get started. So I'm going to do my brows and I'm going in with my Stila in medium. This is a brow pen that is one of the best colors I think out on the market for women with gray hair because it is a very neutral, neutral color. It is a gray brown and I absolutely love it, but I do think I'm running out of this. It's not going on quite like it did before. You can also do hair like strokes with this which is fantastic and I notice as I'm getting older that my skin is more it moves more it's not as taut it's not as tight and I think that these pins would be very very helpful for those of you who um, have you know have that going on like I do where you move your brow and the whole thing just shifts and moves so that means during the day when you're going about your daily business or you reach up to move your eye or you know or touch your face or whatever you know your makeup can shift also you can get fine lines and wrinkles um, up here in this area and that combined with the skin not being as taut and tight can make it difficult to use a wax pencil because a wax pencil can bleed into fine lines. It can migrate, it can move. Using the pen, it stays more on your skin. This is a waterproof, it lasts all day, um, no matter how much you're sweating. And it's a bit hard to get off actually without makeup remover. So for those reasons, I recommend it. Um, for some skin types, it will be much better and much more effective. And the color is approved by me for women with gray hair. Tanya approved. <laughs> like that really means anything, but you know what I mean. I've tried so many colors and different types, but this one is just really good. So it you have to work with it a little bit. Um, if you already have brow hair and you're just filling in little hairs, this is fantastic. I have to actually draw my brow in from here to here. So you're not going to see me doing hair like strokes in that part of it really because there's no point. I'm not going to really see, see that. It's just going to all blend anyway. So, But I can do that up here in the front where I have more hair. It's just very natural looking. That's what this pin does. It's so, so natural looking. And it's not too dark. It's not too light. Now, this is the medium color. I think they have a blonde, but every time I went into Ulta to, to, to inspect the blonde, it was missing. So the, the sample one was missing. So either A, that's a very popular one, <laughs> uh, which I'm kind of getting now that, that maybe that color is most popular. But just because it says medium doesn't mean it goes on very dark. It depends on the pressure you use. All right, so I'm going to finish these brows and I will be right back. Okay, I try to get them as good as I can. This pencil, does, uh, this pen, brow pen, takes a little bit of work, but is is good if you're willing to put the work in. It looks good when it's done. All right, so brows are on. Now we're going to go in with a concealer. I'm using the, and I've been pronouncing this concealer wrong. You notice Joa concealer? It's not called Joa. It's called Yoa. And how I found that out was I was watching another YouTuber, and she was going, um, 
she had read the history of this company and that it's a Korean and um, the name is Korean for like or um, it conveys the idea of like much and so yeah so I put it into my Google Translate on my phone and I pushed the pronunciation button and it said yawa and I went okay it's yawa not joa so I apologize for saying this incorrectly it's yawa so I'm going to use a little bit of this here and I'm going to try not to use a lot you don't need a lot of this a little bit goes a very very long way going in with the BH Cosmetics brush and just doing my normal routine as I always do and if you follow me on my channel you've seen this routine a million times <laughs> not a million but you know what I mean I'm exaggerating and I like to do this instead of eyeshadow primer for many reasons one of which is that it cancels out any discoloration that I have around my eyes. It gives me a nice blank canvas. It gives me a light colored blank canvas so that when I put my um, eyeshadow on, it comes out true to the, to the color in the pan and doesn't change due to the undertone of my skin. So it doesn't just conceal dark circles around my eyes or shadows, but it covers age spots. It gives me a nice canvas at which to work the rest of my makeup from and for that reason I love to use concealer as an eyeshadow base it only works well for me if I after applying it apply powder on top of it so there we go got the base going on now I'm going to go ahead and set that with my essence contouring palette which is this is the lightest one and the, they have a few of these palettes I think they have two they might have three this is the lightest of the three and I'm going to go ahead and go into that light shade there and we're just going to go ahead and set that concealer and I'm not going to set my under eye because I don't want any powder to settle into my fine lines and wrinkles and I'm just going to go over my brows just to just a little bit just to kind of set those and make those look a little bit more natural and blend them in all right so here is this great palette that i got at the dollar tree and i am so in love with this color i have been wearing it for days this is day five and i love it it's the night out palette by la colors and here's the color story in here it's got three teals here on the bottom And let me swatch these on the top. The top looks like this, which looks like the, the Wet n Wild Sweetest Candy palette. However, the Wet n Wild Sweetest Candy palette, along with a lot of their palettes, are very chalky. These are not chalky. They have moisture in them, so they sit on the skin like silk. They go on like silk. Um, there's not an incredible amount of dust off. They stay on all day. They don't crease or migrate. And I just absolutely love this palette. So the color that the colors I was drawn to when I saw this palette was the teals on the bottom, but I tried them out and I didn't care for them. So I tried this this bronze color, this bronzy taupe color. Now it is a semi shimmer. Um, all of these are shimmers, semi shimmers. Um, but I'm going to show you how to tone that down and how to fix that and make it a little slightly more less shimmery little bit more matte um, but this color is fantastic for women with gray hair it is a bronzy taupe color and it goes great with champagne gray hair um, I could really see this color on women with blue eyes I have green eyes like myself or brown eyes I think it's a great neutral everyday color so I, I was really using a lot of grays, which are a great everyday neutral color for me. But this color is really good. It's a little bit of warmth, but it's not over the top. And it's very, it's a very classy color and I love it. So, all right, we're gonna go in with the 
e.l.f. crease brush and I'm just going to, don't forget to tap, I'm going to go in and I'm going to handle the hooded lid by going into the center crease with, with this color. Not, not just the crease, but above the crease here. I'm going to take it pretty high since I have a lot of lid real estate. I'm going to almost go to the top. I'm just going to make it darker here at the bottom. And as I move up to the top, it's just going to get lighter and lighter. And then I'm going to just blend this in, making little circular motions and just blending it up into the brow. And you're going to see this color. So look at that color is that not pretty and it's so neutral too it's not warm and I don't mind that it's a semi shimmer I really don't I I, I was very surprised at how it behaved on my lid and after a long day and sweating and everything I was like what really just a very pretty neutral color doesn't make I mean you have eyeshadow on but you don't feel like I have eyeshadow <laughs> you know what I mean it doesn't look like that it just kind of blends in it harmonizes I'm just like I'm blown away by this dollar palette for sure at least with that color isn't that nice all right, so it almost just looks good just like that. If I didn't do anything else to this, it would be just fine. But I am going to take this lighter champagne color here, and then I'm going to place that just up underneath my brow here, and then on my lid. Now, if you have deep set eyelids, then you want to go with a darker color on your lid since light brings forward and dark makes things recede. So if you have deep set eyes, then you want to go with a dark color here. So you want to use this color down here and start it down here and work it up into your crease. And then just use the light color underneath um, your brow here. But if you have a hooded lid, then using it uh, in the crease here and higher um, will help you to hide the hooded lid. And then you use this light color on the lid to make the lids pop forward. So you get that, that depth. Just gives you some depth. But look at that. That's a two-step look. So quick and easy everyday go-to look that would look great with no matter what color eyes you have and it's not warm warm so it will go with your gray hair it's just a very classy look then I'm going to take this darkest teal color here and I'm going to use that and it kind of has a bit of a bronze on it it's kind of a marriage between the teal and and this color, these two together kind of make, make that color, which is awesome. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. liner brush. I love this liner brush. I have lots of liner brushes. I have the Morphe Smudger. Um, I have lots of little angular brushes like this, which I use for eyelining. But let me talk to you about this one. This is the e.l.f. liner brush. See that square head? It's flat and it's square. So what this does for you is when you go in, if, if of course, you're using a, um, a shadow as a liner, if you use eyeliner, then you can skip this step. So I put my brush in there, I give it a good tap, and then I can stamp this on just right there at the lash line. I'm just doing a pressing motion and I'm just stamping it on. Look at what a beautiful line this creates and it also blends it for you. So you don't have to go back with a Q-tip and kind of blend it, but if you do this pat press motion, it just gives you, like, look at that. It's perfect. I don't have to do another thing to it. And the fact that it's straight across, the head is straight across, 
it just gets so close to the lash line you can really get in there with it and just place it and it makes it um, so easy and goof proof and you can get so tight in there you can get so tight and close to the edge you're just pat placing I notice when I use the other type of brushes like the one I was talking about with the little angular head on it if I use something like this and I put it in there and I go like this and I swipe inward or swipe outward with it what will happen is those bristles will go like this and they'll push the product they'll spray kind of you know the bristles are moving like this and they spray the eyeshadow either here or in here and then I have to go back and clean it all up with this pat place method not only do I tight line it against that line and it also smudges the line as I'm doing it simultaneously it doesn't do that so now I have no cleanup I have zero fallout right now but you have to tap you have to remember to tap now watch it when I do it on the lower lashes and I don't normally do this but watch how easy this is I'm just gonna stamp it like you're stamping gently tap it doesn't stretch your eye either you know how when you're putting on eyeliner and you put it on and it, you know your whole all your skins moving and then it skitters and does all weird stuff this is just you're just placing it look at that it gives it such a natural look I don't have to do anything with this nothing I don't have to get a q-tip out which I I normally had to do I used to have to get a q-tip and kind of blend it it gives you the perfect look depending on how much you get on the brush is how much you're going to put down and if you give your brush a good tap on the side of of it then you're not going to get all that fallout no, no fallout zero fallout today I have nothing to clean up here um, it's just so easy and another great thing about this little elf brush is it's very inexpensive I, it's like two or three dollars so all right so that's the eyes and now we're going to go in with our cover girl um, true blend in l40 and I am working my way down to the bottom of this product and I'm going to go in with my um, Braden sponge which I'm going to dampen with some spring water another favorite product of mine I am touting this product big time this Braden sponge is awesome too I have found some really good things this year that I will stick with that are that work for me each and every time I don't have to bounce I can just wipe this on and it works so good it's just flawless application for the liquid and it has a great angle here you can really get in there And I do notice a difference since I shaved my face I notice my skin looks smoother the, the foundation lays better um, it's just nice I do bounce a little bit up around here where I had these deep wrinkles around my lips and I need to get the product in there maybe around my nose area but other than that I can just do this and on it goes beautiful coverage with this sponge amazing I love this <laughs> this product um, I have the other day if you know follow me on my channel I do property management here where I live and I was painting the numbers in the parking lot um, for the parking spots and I had to wear this mask this is a 3M respirator, and I also wear this when we have fires here in California. It, this big 3M respirator mask. Um, and the cup that goes around your face, 
there, that plastic cup that sits on there, and I'm breathing all day, you know, or for hours, not all day, but for hours while I'm doing the spray painting. Um, so I don't inhale the spray paint um, fumes. And I had that cup on all, you know, for hours that day. And when I took it off, my cover girl, and this is just, just <laughs> demonstrates how great this product is. I took it off and I got up here and I was looking in my mirror and I went, wait, my skin doesn't, didn't change at all. My foundation did not move having that sweaty cup on my face for two hours in the hot sun. My foundation was beautiful after that. And it barely got on a little bit around the cup line, but not bad at all. So this is great. It's 12 hour wear. It's a comfort formula serum, which means it moves and flexes with your skin. And when you get older and you're like, my skin moves around a lot, I need that. Um, the cut the range the shade range is 40 colors the price point is ten dollars it's just really a fantastic product well done covergirl on this one and that wearing that 3m respirator mask is just a testament to the how great this product is i can't say enough about it and if it didn't even get better than that covergirl is made in the usa so there you go. <laughs> all right, so we got we got all that on. I'm not doing any powder, so I was gonna show you how to tone down this shadow by putting a light color like this on top of it. And you can use any light color. You can use the Wet n Wild Brulee Single if you have it. You can use the Wet n Wild Nude Awakenings Palette light color here if you have it. You can use the Ro Rose Gold Elf, the Elf Rose Gold Palette, this light color here if you have it. All of those colors will do the same thing that I'm doing right now, or you can use a light translucent powder if you'd like. So you just go into your powder and you just put it right over that shadow like that and you'll see. See the difference from this side to this side? Isn't that good? So it just tones that shimmer right down. So that's how I made this palette work for me, even though it's a semi-shimmer and it works just fine. So there you go. Tones it down a lot. Just love that eyeshadow. Love it, love it, love it. I will probably hit pan on that. That's going to be a daily one for me. And it's nice because I like to change colors. I mean, you may have like a favorite color. I'm sure you have a favorite color you like if you do wear eyeshadow. Um, but it's nice to change because I was wearing gray. I wear gray eyeshadow pretty much every single day. So now I have another look that I could wear every day. So I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Cheekers in Natural Shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful color. Just so natural. Gives a little shimmer. I'll go in with the BH Cosmetics brush, not for any particular reason, but it's clean and I have it. So and I'm going to stamp it on because the flat heads always deliver more product. And I have the light starting to come in here, which is fine, but it's going to kind of get in my way here. So speed through this part. All right. I'm going to go stamping. I like the stamping motion. It seems like I can place product really where I want it. Look at that. This nice little shimmer. Oh, so pretty. Just gives you a nice dewy, glowy look without having to use a highlighter stick. That's what I love about it. And it's not over the top either. It's not over the top. But if it was, you can tone it down again with powder. So there we go, and then we're going to go in with the Bambi, the Bambi in black brown. I think um, black brown or brown black is a great alternative to stark black mascara. I think it does the job, and it is a little bit more delicate for all my fair skinned beauties out there. It's not so harsh. 
and this mascara lengthens and separates. It does have a plastic applicator, but it does a really good job. And I believe L'Oreal is also made in the U.S. Does a nice job, doesn't it? All right, so that's our look for today. Don't think I'm going to go any, I'm not going to put anything on my lips because I need to go out and I'm going to have to wear my mask anyway. So I'm just going to put on a little bit more Leos, Leos, EOS lip balm. I know we can't really wear lipstick these days, can we? Because no point in it. You got your mask on, it's going to get all on the inside of your mask. So. All the times we're living in. All right, so that's the look today. Isn't that a great look? And that eyeshadow, very classy look. All right, well, thank you so much for watching as always. Click subscribe if you'd like um, more videos like this. Um, click, um, click the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, and by the way, clicking subscribe does not mean in any way that you're going to be connected to anything or anybody. It's just, um, it just lets the YouTube algorithm know that when I upload, you're going to get my videos that they will come in your feed, that little sidebar where you get all these different videos coming up when you're watching other videos that I will come up in that feed more often for you. Um, and then click like if you like the content. That also helps me out a lot. So thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I hope you're well and we will catch you next time. Thanks. Bye for now.